So yes, noradrenaline and cortisol are released at times of distress for the baby. And um, these get the blood rate uh, beating faster, blood pumping through the body. And actually, bless you, um, small, amounts, small amounts of these hormones can actually be good for us. It makes our memory work faster. We can process things more effectively. Bless you, bless you. Um, and we can also, it, it tends to help us work more efficiently, but you, you can't sustain that, that level of performance. So that's when you have chronic stress. So when a baby's put in chronic stress, and I'm talking kind of abuse, child abuse, or very, very long-term crying and distress situations, um, that can really impact on their hardwiring of their brain. So they then don't feel loved and secure, and the impacts of that can can have long-term effects when they grow up, um, which I'm sure we all know about. But I can, uh, we can talk about that when we talk about attachment in another video. But um, so those chemicals are washed all over the brain in times of stress. So you don't want too much of that. But when you comfort them and when you hold them close to you and you soothe them with your voice and your, your touch and your, your cuddles, what happens then is a really powerful hormone called oxytocin is released and dopamine. And these are your pleasure chemicals. And those are very long lasting and very powerful as well. And if a baby has lots of oxytocin in their, in their bloodstream and going around their, their brain, these neurotransmitters hardwire the brain to help them feel safe and secure and um, help calm and soothe them. So the more oxytocin and the more um, of those pleasure pleasurable drugs that uh, chemicals that go around their body the, the more easily the baby will feed themselves so um the old wives tales of like oh they'll learn to self-soothe when they cry is, is not true because actually they'll soothe themselves far better in the long run if they have more of the oxytocin being washed over their brain and being released so if they're young and they're comforted and they're supported emotionally and you give them lots of oxytocin in their brain, then in the long term, they will be more resilient, they will be able to comfort themselves more, and this little one's not very happy, we might have to pause this video. So it's all very hard to do sometimes. So that moves on to our next video, which is about how to manage your stress as a parent when these little ones can be very emotionally demanding. Thanks for listening.